All right, boys, welcome back. So the Meliona Festival has started yesterday, and we've now gotten half stamina and also a new Mysterious Shop, which we're going to break down and go for in a second. But I also want to go over quickly the best way to farm gold. And uh, it's simple, just by going towards the actual evergreen forest here, because if we can quickly stop here, you can see how much gold we're going to get for doing a couple runs here. Um, and it's half stamina, remember, so it's super, super cheap here. 285k. I had, zero, I had like literally 100k gold yesterday, and now I'm back up to 5 mil. So if you want to farm gold, boys, make sure you get in here. And just literally just throughout the whole day, half stamina. Because they're giving out a lot of actual stamina chests. If I show you my actual loadout right now. Because I've, I've not really needed to farm like stamina like crazy. We have 45 of these bad boys. 17, 20. Literally for the next... It, until the 21st. I am going to be farming the actual evergreen forest as much as possible. Unless obviously you want to start farming gear as well. Which uh, gear you can see is not the highest. It's not the baddest. It's... Basically 1k. Uh, the others aren't too great either. The same like 7 900 there. And then the bottom one is uh, a bit more actually if you want to farm some actual talents too. But the best way to farm gold boys get in and uh, do the evergreen forest literally right now. Which is going to auto it. To be fair, I'm, I mean I have some skip tickets. I might even just waste... At least 400 of them just on this mission just to get all that actual uh, extra gold. Because, yeah, you're getting 100% yawn increase. It's insane. And also, as well, you're getting the stamina decrease. Like, it's literally the best time, boys. Get in and start doing that. But let's jump over towards the mystery shop. This is something I talked about yesterday where that was kind of confusing. And is it worth it? And we now got some info going over the actual skill pages and also the SSR mages that you actually can buy. So, uh, yeah, this is basically what it is here. So, is it worth it? Gonna say generally no, unless you really want one character. I think the only thing really worth buying is this right here. This actual SSR selector ticket, because if you go into the actual question mark, it would actually tell you what's actually in them. So you can see right now, the selectable SSR character mage ticket one will give you one of these characters and you can select it so it's not random. Basically all like the standard SSR to captain ones, but it also includes Yami. If you want him, the blue one, obviously, no actual seasonal characters. Licked, Raya, and also Fana and Veto. The Fana is obviously the blue one, and it does go up towards, obviously, Kata, Gohono. You know Golden Dawn, the red one. Also, uh, a Languish, if you somehow want him. Uh, Purple Orchid, uh, Goldery, and also the uh, green uh, Veto. It does not include the Witch Queen and also Fana, because those characters just came out. And as much as I love them to be on that ticket... If I spent 24000 for Witch Queen for her to appear on a ticket that you can buy for 4k, you'd be kind of upset, right? But don't worry, in a few months' time, you can probably expect, you know, Fana and them lot to be in the tickets in the future anyway. But is it worth buying? Honestly, there's only two I recommend buying, really. Kind of, but not really. Is uh, one, you know, Golden Dawn one, because he's like a staple for Mono Red. If you want to use Mono Red, people are probably starting to use it a bit more now, because obviously Black Aster and obviously uh, Witch Queen get get you know it's it's actually worth it if you want to buy just you know for 4k i'd do it but i'm thinking of doing actually i'm not gonna lie because he's one deep away from getting his actual uh two star awakening which i don't think you need but i kind of want it but yeah so golden dawn you know is definitely worth it in a way i'm not gonna lie all right the next one is raya would i recommend raya um not really because i mean right now there's uh he is still one of the best nukers like normally for like raid bosses which is currently out right now by the way if we go towards the actual time of the challenges but yeah i'm using this team right now where you can see i'm using the big nuke for obviously aston the big nuke Raya. so he's still very much usable and someone you still i kind of want to get here and if you somehow haven't gotten him is it worth buying i'd probably say no but if you really want him then you know, I, I, I wouldn't be opposed to it. But yeah, those are the only two characters I think are worth buying. At least buying this ticket for. This one, though, it doesn't seem too bad to me. I'm not going to lie. 1.5k, basically one multi. You're able to get 50 of the gear that change summonings. Which, as someone who spends a little money in this game, it's not worth it for me. But if you are afraid to play, this probably is worth buying. But other than that... I don't see any of the other ones worth buying. We can do a few refreshes, which from what I've heard, apparently you can buy some gold in this shop too, which I haven't seen just yet. So we refresh right now. Um, oh, you know what? This, nah, that's probably a scam. But in this one's, I think, the biggest scam. So you can get two SSR skill page selector tickets. And if we go towards the actual notice here, the skill page includes all of them right here, which is a little bit annoying to use the actual names here, but it is basically all the lineup, all the skill pages for these characters. And... Other than Fauna, 
there is no skill page you need to get like we like yo i have to get this skill page farmer is like a, like a cherry on top a little bit if you want to max dupe it to get 20 percent magic attack uh, but other than that like there's just nothing like you don't need anyone's skill page for like, any of the og ones and also as well it does include the general ssr ones which once again you're gonna pull plenty of times in the future just once again not worth it so 12k for two of those no a scam Let's do another refresh to see if we get any of you more. Uh, nothing really changed here. Nothing really worth buying either. We did get a 31 here rather than a 50, which once again, 1k. It's it's. I, I think it's not bad, especially if you're free to play where like getting them is quite hard. Okay, so this one. I mean, right now, probably not. 1.5k crystals for 5 million gold, which... In the past, like yesterday, I would have said probably yes. But I think, like I said already throughout the start of the video, it's kind of why I brought up, right? The fact you can farm like 5 mil gold in one day, you can get so much gold right now just by doing evergreen forest, putting on auto. Like, if I just skip ticket right now, you can see 10 missions, right? Took me like a second to do. You're going to get, uh, what is it like? You're getting 111k gold in uh, 10 runs. And if I was to use all my skip tickets right now, that would add up to around, what, 5.7 million gold, basically. But then again, it is 1.5k, and it's like, not, it's not bad. I, f I think that might be like the only other thing worth buying in the shop. Because yeah, man, gold's a struggle, bro. Like, it actually is something you actually want to look into. Okay, so we got this one here, actually. So, steamed red lobster. This is 20% gear drop, not the black one, which is like 30. It's not bad. 300 for 600 uh, diamonds? That don't seem too bad to me. I'm not going to lie, you know. But 20%, um... Yeah, that actually, that actually seems worth it. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to buy anything because I don't like respending these uh, actual currencies here. But, uh, yeah, boys, that is basically it, right? You can see the purchase count, what you can get upwards to, which isn't even worth it. You get one gift box, 20 of these, which... I know, five of these, actually, which is actually, um... Whatever. Then you get one LR gear selection box... Accessory stone selection and also leading up at 50 you do get one accessory summon chest You are to LR random if this was a guarantee LR I'd probably say it's worth buying a few of those things But uh, yeah, I think like I said the only things worth buying if you are free really like a true free to play Getting these gear sub sub changes are definitely worth it The gold I might back the bullet on before this actually leaves and then like I said what I showed previously the the red lobster is enticed me a little bit too. So I think, yeah, if anything, five million gold, it's, it, it is worth, I'm not gonna lie. So I might have to do that one, but uh, the gem count's looking a bit low right now. I'll see how much gold I can farm up before this actual event leaves and then I'll probably buy it. So uh, yeah, is it worth it? A few things, but do you bear in mind that actual SSR selectors isn't really that good. So thank you boys, thank you for watching and uh, yeah, peace.